Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Homestead Miami Speedway for race 11 of the Mountain Dew Livewire Truck Series season. Six races remain here in the Truck Series. Entering tonight, today's race, Grayson Acovito, Dion Scott are tied for the points lead. Scott with the tiebreaker from his win a couple of races ago this season. That win came at Kansas. So this is the Ford EcoBoost 200, 27 laps of racing here. Caution flags are on. Michael Cavagnero starting on the pole position. And that NASCAR 15 truck, Michael Rogers second. Mike Mellon, Tyler Markle in row two. Andrew Rich, Ryan Kesey row three. William Brock, Nick Smith in row four with Dylan Young and Frank Hopkins in row number five. Nick Pericles is up there in the top five in points. He starts 11th. Major question to be answered is, who will come out of here with the points lead? 97 car is starting a couple of rows back here. There he is on the inside. Grayson Acovito starting way back also on the inside. So the Bulls starting in the mid-range. Dion Scott starting in mid-range. Acovito all the way in the back. Green flag waving. We're on the way here at Homestead. This track is home to great racing. Now, a little bit of a difference. These trucks are not as fast as the cup cars, so they might not have to back out of the corners. They might, they might be flat out here. And so far, it's showing to be that way. Mellon to the inside. He's going to be looking for the lead. He'll lead lap number one. We might even get a caution out of the Truck Series drivers. See that right there? Nobody had to let out from going entering the corner on the bottom. So we might get, we might, we'll probably won't see any cautions tomorrow in the cup race. But here today in the Truck Series one, we might. William Brock up to second. He's going to look on the inside for the lead. Side by side, trying to lead a lap is the one car. And he does. Barely. You can't. He, he led that lap by thousands. Now Pericles to the inside. Pericles won back last week at Martin. Uh, a couple weeks ago at Martinsville. He's been climbing the point standing since that win. Now here comes Sam Rogers. Sam's had a good cup season so far. But not so much here in the truck series. Is there three wide for the lead? Sam's going to take it on the bottom. Three wide, almost four wide right there. That's William Brock all the way up top. He is pretty much going four wide right there. And they're still going four wide. This four wide's not going to last that long. I don't know how they're holding on to it right now. They're making it work. Andrew makes it three wide there. They, they let him down there. So Sam Rogers leading as Pericles moves up to second. Nick Smith third. Cindy Vieira moving up to fourth. And John Arndt up to fifth. The one in the eight car sponsor list pretty much this weekend. No primary sponsors on these trucks this weekend. As they single file in the front, it is a pack madhouse outside the top five. As Pericles goes for the lead, John Arndt going for fourth. Nick Smith also up here in the top five. Pericles still on the bottom, going for the lead. And I'm surprised they've been able to keep it going uh, green flag with all that three-wide craziness back there. 
So Pericles will lead his first lap of the race. That's a good bonus point he could he needs right there. Seth Cole making his way to the front, and there's Nicholas Samudio, Cameron Gadu. They're also made their way to the front via the bottom. Dion Scott had made his way to the front, but now he's going to be put back on the outside line, so he does not get to lead a lap up here. No sign of the 92 truck. Pericles, though, still in the lead. Going to lead another lap. Here comes Emmett Chukum. Whoa! Easy there, guys. Easy. Chukum to the inside of Pericles. That is for the lead. Michael Cavagnaro, the pole sitter, coming back up front. Third of the way through this one. Nine laps down. Still no idea who's going to win this thing. Fastest lap has gone to the 98 truck of Seth Cole, but he has been moved back to the high side as Wade Brummer now on the bottom looking for the lead. And they could wreck still. There's clearly room in the corners, but I don't know about on the straightaways. As Wade Brummer in the 74 truck will take the lead. And Brummer holding on to the lead for now. He's doing a pretty good job. Danny Jones, Frank Hopkins up here. There's May Ryder in the 94. Brummer doing a good job, though, however. He's making sure he stays up front. Deion Scott is cracked into the top 10 again. Brummer just trying to hold on the best he can. Looking for that first one on the season. We've had nine different winners so far. Looks like that streak might continue. As Scarlett Rich in the 13. She makes her way to the front for the first time today. As we are halfway through the race. Manuel Hartnett up here. Sabrina Rogers in the double zero moving her way up here. As Brummer stays in the lead, we're going to take a quick break here and be back in 40 seconds. Under caution here at Homestead. Caution just calm came. A uh, crash just happened entering turn three. And, you know, I couldn't have called it any better. Oh, guys, don't wreck. You're under caution. But I couldn't have called it any better. I just had a feeling, okay, I'm going to my one and only break. And they're probably going to wreck. And they did. Tyler Markle is involved. Greg Lyons, Cindy Vieira is smoking. Dylan Young. Uh, let's see if we can figure out where this started. This will probably be the only caution of the, the race. Let's take a look here. They're four wide. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think that's Danny Jones. Nope, that's Greg Lyons. That is Greg Lyons. And it looks like they're, they're going five wide right here. This is what does it. That's uh, Edwin Mendes in the 15 truck there. That's what gets this started. 07 and the 82 go around. Now, these guys up here, they're like, come on, we got to get going. We got to get going. Other people are slamming on the brakes. And right here, they're going to come back up. Fitzwater, nowhere to go. Cindy Vieira, you can see in the 40 truck involved. Then more people, they're, down, they're going down there. We're like, we got to get out of the way. Carvalho gets a piece of it. Oh, Lions actually got flipped. And then Tyler Markell is going to get a piece of it. And then up here, though... As these guys go to avoid, 
Andrew Rich gets into Dylan Young. That sends them up into the track in front of Cameron Gadoon into William Brock. Then Dylan Young came back down into Tony Green. Comes back down into Tony Green. Sean Harple's there. And he, tied for the point seed, Grayson Acevedo going to get a little piece of that. Ben Goldberg, great work slamming on the brakes there. Oh, and then Markle hits Lions. And then Cindy Vieira gets a piece of him. But let's take a good look. Some, the 82 got, oh my goodness gracious. Wow, he, he kind of grip flipped it right there. Went for a one and a half barrel rolls. It's no fun getting hit like that though. Oof. Crazy accident though. Multiple people involved. Some with most with minor damage. With that said, let's get you to the race restart. Getting ready to go back green here in the 40 Eagle Boost 200. There'll be eight laps remaining, which I'm sure they can go green since they're single file now. Cindy Vieira, Tyler Markle, and Greg Lyons are the only three that retired from the race. Here's your top ten rundown coming to the restart. Wade Brummer leads. Seth Cole second. Cooper Siron third. Max Newworth fourth. May Ryder fifth. Sabrina Rogers sixth. Edwin Mendes seventh. Sam Rogers eighth. Emmanuel Hartnett ninth. And Dion Scott is tenth. With that said, the pace truck's going to dive down to pits for the final time. We get ready to go back racing. Green flag is back out. We're back on the way. Look at the start. Brummer gets on that one. Eight laps to go. But the draft does kind of work its way out a little bit here while they're getting up to speed. But you can just tell that they should be able to make it eight laps because they are just single file pretty much through the whole field. Seth Cole sticking it low. And there goes Seth Cole. Cole looking for the lead. Seven laps to go here at Homestead. And it could come down to a last corner pass. See, Siron actually had to back out a little bit. That's going to let Seth pull away. Seth looking for what would be his first career Truck Series victory. Siron's up to second. Newith is looking for third. Then Sabrina Rogers, Sam Rogers, Manuel Hartnett. And Edwin Mendez is actually up here. And he was the cause of the caution. Whoa, look out! Sabrina Rogers dives it in hard. Almost takes out Max Newworth. We've got a bunch of groups going on here. You've got some groups there, there, and there. So far, though, Seth Cole is still staying in the lead. Cooper Siron really is only competition right now. Five laps to go this time by at the line. Ooh, Sam Rogers trying to dive it in good a little bit there. Cooper getting a bit of a run on the 98 truck. Manuel Hartnett moving up here. Hartnett, one back at Puco, was the points leader for one point of the season, but he's fallen down in the top 10 since. Maybe trying to get a second win here, help him in the standings. As Siron looking to the inside. Hartnett's going to get a run on him. Hartnett gets a run. He had to let off a little bit there. Here comes Edwin Mendez in a virtually sponsorless truck. Hartnett going to keep it in third place for now. Cole, <coughs> excuse me, still the race leader. Seth Cole is somehow managing to hold off Cooper Siren here. Remember the 98 truck. Oh, 98 truck doesn't have it anymore. Ryan Kesey in the 08 has the fastest lap time of the race now. Seth Cole hanging on strong here. Uh, oh, they, I don't think they're going to catch Fitzwater, but Fitzwater is slow. If we had another 14 laps, they might have caught the 39. Two laps to go here at Homestead. Can Seth Cole hold on for his first career truck series victory?
Down the back straightaway. Hartnett's going to look to the inside of Siron. That's for second place. Remember, second place still gives you 45 points. Yeah, it's not as much as winning, which is like 52. But second will still give you a good payout. Question is, though, with the white flag waving, does Hartnett have enough? Hartnett's peaking a little lower than the 98. Could Hartnett be looking at a last lap pass? Down the back straightaway for the final time as they head into turn number three. Will Hartnett make a move? There goes the 28 truck. Here they go, side by side to the checkered flag. Seth Cole wins the 40 Go Boost 200 at Homestead. By three hundredths of a second. What a good finish here. We could have a finish like that in the Cup Series. Edwin Mendes, third. Logan York, fourth. Sabrina, um, Scarlett Rich, fifth. Sam Rogers, sixth. Cooper Siron, seventh. Emmett Jukum, eighth. Michael Rogers, ninth. And May Ryder will round out the top ten. Hope you guys enjoyed the 40 Eagle Boost 200 Chuck Series. Going to head to Richmond next week for some night racing. For that, though, let's get you your cup race First elimination race of the chase. Four drivers are going to be eliminated from chase contention. Who are they going to be?